Okay, so in this video I'd like to answer a question I received by email from somebody. Uh, so it says, uh, originally my question was about lesson 36 in which there is the sentence try to distribute the, try to distribute them fairly evenly and make the shorter applications frequently to protect your protection throughout the day. So that's from uh, lesson 36 of A Course in Miracles. And the uh, question is, I would love to hear you on protection in general, if that's okay with you too. Uh, I was raised with the strong idea that protection was necessary because there is danger out there. I don't like uh, this way of seeing my intention to inquire about this specific sentence in Lesson 36 might be a way for me to reassess the meaning of protection. Well. Uh, so the, this is the way I would answer the question and from my uh, experience with uh, The Course in Miracles and uh, meeting Dr. David R. Hawkins, a Course in Miracles teacher and a teacher of enlightenment and just my ten years of uh, spirit, uh, my many years of spiritual work with uh, A Course in Miracles. Okay, so well in terms of the context of The Course in Miracles lessons, try to distribute them evenly and make this shorter application frequently to protect your protection throughout the day. Well, part of what the Course of Miracles is doing is protecting you from falling back into your thinking and your ego thinking and your negative thinking and just uh, being identified with your thoughts as the locus uh, or as the center of what you think you are. So, as you so if you do the lesson regularly, you do the Course of Miracles lessons regularly throughout the day, that will protect you from falling into your negative ego and your negative ego will, you know, both from within and without magnetically attracting negative situations, negative people, places and situations and also uh, from within, you know, making very bad decisions. When I was, uh, when I had no spirituality, I was in a lot of fear, a lot of addiction. I was choosing companies and relationships which were very bad for me. I had no sense of spirit, spiritual, intuitive connection or morality. Uh, this led to me just uh, having a disastrous life, leading to uh, to kidney failure and facing death. So, when I didn't have any form of, if you like, spiritual mindfulness to stop me going into my negativity and making negative choices and choosing negative things, and I would say as well, when you're in such a, a state of fear and negative thinking, it's almost like you magnetically pull from the universe or are attracted to those things which are negative. So it seems you lose any form of grace or, or divine protection from all the negativity from in your mind that you could be choosing and doing and attracting to yourself. So, um, so when I, when I do the Course in Miracles and stop uh, you know, getting into my negative thoughts and using my ego, the basis of my ego as the, the locus of who I am, and I start to feel this inner peace, start to let go of my habitual thinking that uh, I am the center of the universe, I need to use my thinking to orchestrate things, and start to get this intuitive, uh, more deeper connection to what I should be doing, and also this feeling of uh, peace and serenity and happiness starts to come more upon me, then it's like, uh, you know, I'm attracted to peaceful, uh, loving situations. I choose peaceful, loving situations, not situations that create drama or strife any longer, because it seemed like when I was in negativity, I chose negativity. I was attracted to negativity. As you become more peaceful and serene, the attraction and the choices tend to be more serene and peaceful. And this is almost like as you, if I was to go from a peaceful state and start thinking a lot and going into negative thoughts, it would be like losing one's protection. There's also, uh, I believe, uh, in the Course of Miracles talks about angels, as you sort of do spiritual work, you're invoking the angels to protect you from all the negativity uh, that is uh, in the environment and from within. So that, I would say, is a form of protection. So I was re raised with this strong idea that protection was necessary because there is danger out there. I don't like this way of seeing. Well, um, 
yeah, it's not. I mean, if if I had a belief that there's danger out there or the things that are bad, I can I can, like with uh, lesson fourteen, God did not create it, so it's not real. God did not create danger, so it's not real. God did not create uh, bad people, so it's not real. God did not create uh, negative energy, so it's not real. I, I can do that, and that in fact is a form of releasing that negativity. And then you'll start to, you'll put, once perception changes, as you start to let go of the negativity and the fear and uh, the obsessive addiction to thinking from the ego, then uh, it's like, uh, this fearful idea that I have to protect myself also starts to vanish because you start to experience more and more grace and there's this field of trust. So of course in miracles as you do it will be releasing this idea of being in fear and needing to protect yourself and you'll be releasing all the ideas that are, are connected with that. Uh, so it will um, uh, it will uh, help, in, uh, help uh, in doing it. So you won't need this once you're in these high spiritual states you won't feel you need to protect yourself and that there will be danger that you have to be vigilant from because the field of being in these states of happiness and peace are automatically keeping you safe but yes i do uh, can relate to your idea of being in a you know needing protection as being a sort of a fearful place to live at so i hope uh, this video was helpful uh, in some way. Thank you.